I think within the mainstream, no, it's still pretty f mind and brain are the same thing. This is more or less what you find if you, you go to places like this is the uh, Society for Neuroscience, uh, a very large, very active organization, and they have a pamphlet that gives an overview of what current neuroscience is about. It makes it pretty clear in there that it's following along the, the, the road that Francis Crick laid down very nicely, that everything having to do with mind and emotion and cognition and so on is as a result of brain function. So I think most of that is actually correct. It's not that it isn't correct, because the there is information being processed, and there, if brain is, brains are very clever objects that are doing certain things in important ways. The question is, is, that, is it sufficient to account for what, what our experience is? I would say that there has always been an undercurrent of neuroscientists who disagree, that they say, well, no, we understand the information processing aspect of it, but that's not really explaining the qualia essence of the experience itself. It doesn't explain the subjectivity of it. And not only that, if we can completely recreate the brain mechanically somehow, would, that, would it be a conscious entity? Well, maybe, but, but I, I don't think so. It's actually, I know I take it back. About every other Tuesday, I think maybe that's correct. If you can create a very complicated structure, as complicated as this, and, and enliven it in some way, it may well actually start being conscious. If you take an assumption that we're either in a panpsychist kind of universe or that awareness is fundamental to everything. So I'm beginning to believe that awareness is fundamental. Maybe it's panpsychism, maybe it's not, but that it's somehow, it's below the level of where physicality arises. So if we create a robot brain and give it senses and so on, and it's very, very complicated, and it could allow for lots of recursion and information processing, kind of like the, the brain does, I can see that it actually might be aware because every little piece of it has been aware all along. It may, just, it may not know it because it may need a certain level of recursion in order for awareness to know itself. And so at that point, we may have conscious robots. Whether we can download as the, the people interested in the singularity are interested in taking their brain and somehow downloading it into an object, that I'm less certain about. Uh, because the, the thing that makes me me is mostly memory. It's not awareness. It's my memory. It's the memory that might be part of the physical structure that I am. If we can figure out what that is, what that, where the memory is stored or how it's in here somehow, then actually I expect that you could create a robot which would wake up one day and think it was me. But of course that raises paradoxes because now there are two me's out there. And of course this is what uh, Star Trek and other science fiction shows have, tried, have struggled with. What do you do when there's a whole bunch of you's around?